Um, do you have any thoughts on the paleo diet? Of course, I'm sure you have many, but um, the whole theory behind it that we are now meant to eat lots of meat and not much else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's absurd. I mean, there's no, no point in beating around the bush. You know, um, first of all, many of the scientists that I've read have suggested that we probably never ate a lot of animal products, even during the Paleolithic period, whatever the period was, um, because we weren't very good hunters. We had sticks and rocks, you know, and so we weren't, we weren't all that successful at, at capturing and killing animals. Uh, we were mostly eating the berries and fruit and nuts and shoots and leaves that the women were likely out gathering. And, and in fact, as I'm sure you know, the, the, um, the study on the teeth of every known hominid that was done at Johns Hopkins University some, what, probably 25 or 30 years ago now, showed that every single one of them lived primarily on fruit. I forget his name. He was, he's been given a name, but the Swiss man who was found frozen in the ice that was 10,000 years old um, in Switzerland this, his stomach contents were essentially nothing but berries and vegetation, fruit primarily, is what he was living on. So I've, I've seen no evidence to suggest that humans ever lived on primarily fruit. And what's absolutely true is that our digestive tracts are simply not adapted for that. So, you know, one of the things that, that came out in the last year and a half was research published back in 2013 that proved something I've been teaching people for 25 years now, which is that excess protein is harmful to the body. This research showed that excess protein shortens our telomeres, which makes our lives shorter. And typically, as people age, they are more prone to various diseases. So I would suggest we're not just living less, fewer years with more protein consumption, we're also much likely to be more sick as a result. So, you know, there's uh, our, our systems look like those of the bonobos and the chimpanzees who eat almost no animal products whatsoever, especially the bonobos, with, which, with whom we share the greatest resemblance. Um, but even the chimpanzees, you know, Leakey said maybe they eat meat twice a year. You know, what if it's five times a year? It's clearly not a significant part of their diet, and there's no reason that we need to be eating it. Now, we were just talking about this here today in, in one of the lectures today. One of the questions I got during lecture time was, how about the uh, blood type diet? You know, and someone said, well, yeah, I mean, with, you know, with my blood type, I should eat meat right, to be as strong as possible. I don't believe that. I don't believe there's any science to support that. But I believe it may be true that people with certain blood types may, for various reasons perhaps, may be, for instance, let's look at the, the, you know, the ones that should eat meat. It may be that these people are people that have trouble uh, getting their protein from plant sources for whatever reason. That doesn't mean that they can't. It just means that typically they're not doing as well as others of us do. So they might, they might feel and function better if they're eating animal products. But they are, they're going to get sick and live a shorter life. So it's clearly not something that we need to be doing. What we need to be doing is giving the body a chance to deal with the underlying condition that's making it hard for them to get the protein they should easily be getting by eating mangoes and watermelons. Because as I'm sure you realize, Rainy, every living cell contains both fat and protein. We theoretically should never need to eat concentrated sources of either. I'm not saying we can't. Um, there's nothing wrong with having an avocado or having some durian. But we don't need to be eating things that have concentrated fats or concentrated proteins since both fat and protein are available to us from every single fruit and leafy green we eat.